You've probably heard sound bouncing before. If you've ever been in a place with very hard walls, like in a cave. When you yell, the sound bounces off the hard walls and comes back to you like this. Hello! 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 This is called an echo. It's a perfect example of sound waves bouncing and coming back, so you can hear them again. The neat thing about science is that it can take you to some great places. In a show about sound, you might wonder why I get to swim with these fun creatures, dolphins. Well, for one thing, dolphins have incredible hearing, much better than people do. But they can also use sound in an amazing way. Dolphins can actually use echoes to tell what's in the water around them. Can you hear the sounds the dolphins are making? When these sounds are sent out underwater, they bounce back off whatever they hit. Like, say, a school of fish. By listening to the echoes, dolphins are able to tell exactly where the fish are and even what kind of fish they are. Now that's an incredible use of sound. Dolphins aren't the only ones who use echoes to find things. Did you ever hear the expression, blind as a bat? Well, it's true. Bats can't see well with their eyes, but like dolphins, they send out special sounds that bounce back off the things around them. By listening to the echoes, bats can get a pretty good picture of the world around them. And people use echoes to find things too. Not with our ears, like bats or dolphins, but with special equipment. Many boats and submarines can use echoes to find other ships, or schools of fish, or even buried treasure.